We've always dreamed of flying, and now we can. Our feet can leave the ground, and for a moment, we can forget our earthly worries. Like the fact that flying helps roast our planet to a crispy game over. So, is there a better way? Air travel connects the world we know. It's a network of people, goods, technology, zipping through the skies and scaring the birds everywhere. But if we want to keep surfing clouds, we need to change a few things, unless we all learn to do that. The dream of flying needs to include another little tiny wish, you know, saving the planet. Flying is about innovation, faster, cheaper, better. We went from the Wright brothers to the jet engine, the Concorde, space shuttle, and that one Boeing model that no one wants to talk about. And with cars going electric, why shouldn't planes be next? It's all <laughs> about power. Green power, that is. Between the environmental cost and the rising gas prices, the most immediate solution is sustainable aviation fuels or biofuels. It's a fuel that is manufactured from biomass, uh, respecting strict sustainability criteria. Biofuels on the one hand, and synthetic fuels, which we also call sometimes e-kerosene on the other hand. Um, both of these, uh, this category of sustainable aviation fuel, uh, definitely has a, a, a great um, potential because these fuels are called drop-in, as in you can use them in any current aircraft. There are some limits, of course. Currently, these fuels make up less than a percent of total usage and up to eight times more expensive, but there are new advances. The cost was $50, $60 a gallon because of the inefficiencies. We started increasing the quantities that we were making and regularity, and we started driving down the price. We believe we'll be a cost parity within less than 10 years. In the U.S. alone, over $4 billion have been allocated to new and ongoing funding opportunities to support sustainable aviation fuel projects and fuel producers, and to improve fuel efficiency by up to 30%. And in the meantime, we work towards powering planes with hydrogen. Fuel cells, hydrogen fuel cells, much safer. And in this field, what we're seeing um, as, as future concepts right now, developed, for example, by Airbus, by different uh, new players also entering this space, is definitely hydrogen. Um, and hydrogen fuel cells in, in, in particular, where we're seeing that they are being used for heavy duty um, and long range applications. Um, of course, preferably with green hydrogen to, to actually achieve um, uh, Zero, net zero CO2 balance. And new advances in battery energy, density, and plane design means the first commercial electric airplanes are only years away. Well, the electric planes are the only planes that are truly zero emission. Climate impact of these planes is the result also of the electricity you use. So you have to make sure you use uh, fully renewable electricity. So as long as the push for renewable energy continues, along with new airplane designs, better efficiency engines and batteries and MRO procedures, we can keep the future of flying alive. And while some methods of flight might be a bit impractical, others might now be a reality. This is what Uber calls their future air taxi. Remotely piloted, single seat, eVTOL aircraft designed to be an air taxi service in the near future. Uber says it would be simple as opening up the app and it would be affordable enough for most people to use. But it's not just aircrafts that need to change, but airports themselves. Except the duty-free chocolate, that should never change. And for sustainable aviation to really have an impact, we need to change. It does not mean that we're telling people that they should stop flying. It just means that we should make use of all the available technology to really only travel when it is necessary and to consider other means of transportation. And the thing about changing the way we fly means that we're changing the world. Air transport currently creates a total of 87.7 million jobs worldwide and enables $3.5 trillion in global GDP and over $50 billion of projected growth from sustainable aviation. So when you look at the markets and where these planes are going to be used, you're really going back to kind of the mega trends of increased uh, urbanization, so people moving into towns and cities. And as we see more of that, then the viability of these, these new aircraft platforms just increases. It also means those imported sneakers you ordered are getting to you that much faster. Bigger drones could actually um, uh, deliver very fast to fill up stocks in, a, in a certain regions. 
um, and in some situation might be even more efficient. On a more local scale, urban taxis and smart city technology might just make traffic a thing of the past. Well, ground traffic. The birds are not going to be happy. And so you can take an Uber ground vehicle to your vertiport, take that leg of your transportation in the Bell Nexus, land, walk the last distance to take your Uber car to your home or office or business or wherever you need to be. Industries and nations the world over are going to have to unite to make sustainable aviation work. And we are now seeing actually the airport organizing themselves and putting in place uh, a supply chain in order to be able to propose aviation biofuel. Sustainable aviation fuel can be made um, nearly everywhere, so we do not have to have um, a country which has uh, fossil reservoirs or uh, like uh, I say Arab countries or the United States where everybody has oil or Russia. So we can do sustainable aviation fuel everywhere. We led to, uh, to airlines being more CO2 conscious, um, which is also why this is currently being expanded globally into a system called Corsia. It's extremely important that all stakeholders, right from various governments to regulators, to manufacturers and integrators of aircraft, to suppliers of systems and components, to fuel producers, all these stakeholders work in a coordinated manner, in a seamless manner, in order to achieve the common objective of achieving reduction in aircraft emissions in a very, very timely manner. There has been a lot of investment that has come into the aviation sector for developing sustainable technologies such as AV alternate aviation fuels, electric propulsion systems, advanced air mobility, lightweight materials, and so on and so forth. There will be a cost in the short term. We might be looking at flying less, higher ticket prices, weird aircraft designs where we're all packed in like sardines, but the opportunity is tremendous to make our dream of flying sustainable, to embrace a new world of technologies, and to help save the planet. Sustainable aviation is flying without damaging our planet, without damaging biodiversity, without damaging uh, our prospects to be able to enjoy life uh, uh, on Earth. Uniting nature, technology, and people really shows how much people can do when they work together in, in this giant, complex field. Sustainable aviation is just around the corner. To keep tabs on what's around the corner, subscribe below to get notified about new episodes.